In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a scroll container in your Divi comments module. The comments section on a blog post can get pretty hectic pretty quick. So by using a scroll container, we can clean this up and make it a lot more readable and improve the design of your site. Not only will this look better, but it's gonna improve your user experience as well. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. So here you can see my blog post that I have. I'm using the blog post template from Divi's software layout pack. You can find that in the description of the video below if you wanna download it yourself with full instructions on how to install it. So let's look at our default comment section that we have. And you can see that our comment section just drags on as more comments are added to the post. You can see that it gets really long and this is only eight comments, but if we had 20, 30 plus, you can see that it would go really, really far down. So to alleviate this problem, we're gonna add a scroll bar to clean up this section in our blog post. So in order to edit this, we're gonna to go to our WordPress dashboard, go down to Divi, and then go to your theme builder. And we're gonna find the template that we wanna change. And then we're just gonna change the custom body by clicking on the pencil icon here. So now we'll just scroll down to the comment section so that we can change it. And for this, you wanna make sure that you click the green section so that we can edit the row settings themselves. So from here, we're gonna make all of our changes necessary. We'll click on the design tab here, and we're gonna go down to where it says sizing. So here's where we're gonna set our max height for our container. And instead of 1000 pixels, we're gonna drag this down to around 500 pixels or so. You can see the visual representation of how high the box is gonna be. So we can just make it where we want, and it should be somewhere around 500 pixels for this demonstration. Now what we wanna do is enable that scroll bar. So we're gonna to go to the advanced settings here, and where there's visibility, click that. And here where we have vertical overflow, we're gonna click this instead of default, we're gonna change this to scroll. Now we need to make sure that our newly added scroll bar that we just made isn't going to interfere with the comment section. So we're gonna add a little bit of padding from the design tab. We're gonna to go to spacing and we're just gonna add some padding. So I'm gonna add about 55 pixels of padding here on the left and right. Let's go ahead and save that. And now you can see that it's added that scroll bar here, but we wanna spice this up a little bit and make it look a little better than it already does. So we're gonna do that with some custom CSS. So let's go back to the same settings we were just in, those row settings. We're gonna to go to advanced and we're gonna to go to CSS ID and classes. So we just need to make a custom CSS ID and I'm just gonna use scrolly because that's nice and easy and something we can remember so that we can recall it in the body sections we're about to change. So let's go ahead and save this. And now we need to change the body section. So to do that, we're gonna go down to these three dots at the bottom, we're gonna click that, go to your settings, and this is gonna bring up your body template settings. So from here, we're gonna to go to the advanced tab, go to custom CSS, and this is where we're gonna put in our custom CSS that we have. I'm gonna pull the custom CSS from the blog post. Again, you can find that in the description below. So I'm just gonna paste that rather than type it all in. And you can grab the same code if you want to make your bars look the same as this demonstration. And from here, we're just gonna save that now when we go to our blog posts, we can see that the comment section has the nice vertical scroll bar that we created. And it really cleans up the design. And really, it's as simple as that. Make sure you check out the blog post linked in the description below. That's gonna have all of the resources, including the layout that I used in today's demonstration. Also, don't forget to check out some of the other tutorials we have on our YouTube channel here, and we'll see you in the next video.